All right, we finally made it. Oh my God, I am on week four, starting officially today. I finished week three yesterday, which was Sunday. So week three on this um, MSM hair growth experiment started on July 20th and it went through all the way to July 26th um, where I was uh, taking the one teaspoon of MSM in the morning with one scoop of vitamin C and collagen and then in the evening I was only taking the half a teaspoon of the MSM with the vitamin C and the collagen if you had not seen the other videos uh, you should so that you know why I'm starting off with the uh, doses that I took for vitamin for uh, week three now week four officially started today which is where I am finally at taking the recommended doses for MSM which is one teaspoon in the morning and one teaspoon in the evening now um, I am completely in love with MSM I am also completely in love with vitamin C and collagen and I have learned so much so last week I wanted to know what was vitamin C bringing to the table and I learned a lot of stuff this week I wanted to know what collagen was bringing to the table and I learned a lot of stuff um, so, I have been so good at taking well, what I call my juice now, what, you know, this is my, my juice. Um, I'm loving it. I have not missed one single day. I am so proud of the fact that I have been so determined and that I've stuck to this. I almost failed and it had to be the week that I talk about collagen right it was the collagen now at the beginning my first video when I, I explained that I'm gonna be doing this um, I said that I was taking the uh, the Herbalife collagen I'm not too sure how good it is or, or not I just know that it tastes delicious I had a feeling that it was probably too good to be true I'm sure that it works but um, it's delicious and I think this was actually helping mm, the flavor of the the drink you know because it tastes really good but i thought that you know maybe it's mass market you know herbalife makes things for people who really don't want to do things kind of like me so that they taste good um and get them to do it so it actually worked when it comes to that but i wanted something a little bit more natural so um i haven't missed a single day i didn't realize that i was going through my things so fast um so i ran i was running out so i ran over to gnc because i really actually wanted to get this one this is the one that all the girls on YouTube are, yeah, are talking about. Um, so I really wanted to get this one, um, but I didn't think that Amazon was going to get it to me fast enough. So I ran over to um, GNC and I got this one. I was excited because I was, so yesterday, that was the first day that I, I've had this three times. I had it yesterday morning, which was my last day. I didn't have any more of the Herbalife one. So um, anyways, I was excited to, to take this one and it's supposed to be unflavored. It's not supposed to have a smell to it either. But apparently, Rosie has never taken real collagen in her life before. Apparently, I have been taking the yummy things that they sell at the pharmacy, you know, like the gummy collagen and the Herbalife collagen because this was one heck of a surprise. <sighs> so, what happened was that I mixed my drink, I put in my, uh, and it, it had to be the last day, it had to be the last day of my third week. So um, I put in my MSM, I put in my vitamin C powder, and I went ahead and I put in my collagen, and I've been putting hot water in there to dissolve everything so that when I put my orange juice in there, it's not clumpy. Boy, when that hot water hit that collagen, the smell, wow. It near, it almost, I almost fell back. Like I was not expecting it to have a smell. Like the only way that I can describe it is roadkill. I was not expecting collagen to smell that at all. You know, like I said, I... <laughs> I guess I got so used to taking the gummies and, you know, the Herbalife one and da 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 da. It tastes delicious. And then when I had, I guess, I don't know, I was so mad at GNC. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my God, they sell me roadkill. 
in powdered form. Um, so I took it in the morning. It was so bad. It was I, I was upset. I was sad. I went through so many emotions. Whatever. Um, so I was dreading having to take it again <laughs> last night. And knowing that I was going to have to start and do it again this morning, I was so upset that I went to Amazon. And amazingly enough, Amazon was able to get this to me today. So it didn't take no time for them to send it to me. It got here right away. And I was I was so happy. I took it today for the first time. Now, you've probably seen girls on YouTube putting this in water and drinking it up and saying that it doesn't taste like anything and putting it in oatmeal and this and that and in their cereal blah 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 and it doesn't taste like anything not true not true it does it actually smells a lot like this one disappointing but this one has a lighter taste like it doesn't it's not as bad as the other one so that was a plus um man don't they fooled me. They really told, they really made it seem as if this was not going to taste like anything. It really does taste like something. Not as bad as this one, but at least now I know that I wasn't duped and that these folks didn't make a bad product. That it's just that that's what real collagen tastes like and whatever. I'm going to have to get over it. <laughs> but I just wanted to say that. That was like the one... Um, the one thing that I can say that has been negative in my whole experience with this... Uh, whole little experiment about taking MSM with vitamin C and collagen. Uh, so I learned quite a few things. Now I am a little bit emotional because this stuff tastes so bad and I couldn't believe it. Um, but yes, week four started today and it's going to go from today, July 27th, all the way to August 2nd, um, where I am finally taking a whole teaspoon of MSM in the morning and a whole teaspoon of MSM in the evening. So we should see a much faster hair growth now. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you something. Um, I really do think that this is working. I'm wearing a white shirt today because I, I didn't want to mark my other one. I really liked it. So I'm, we're gonna start marking on this white shirt to kind of keep track because I, I don't know if this is a placebo effect going on here, but I really do think that this is working. But I, we should see more of a result um, now that I'm taking the actual recommended dosage. And I'm also not wearing any makeup, nothing underneath my eyes, nothing anywhere, just so that we can see <laughs> so now one of the things well let me start from the beginning because I get excited I get excited okay so what I learned about um, MS uh, not MSM I love MSM I don't think I'm ever gonna come off of MSM um, what I learned about collagen is that it actually comes from the Greek word I believe you say it, cola, which means that it's the glue. So basically, it is the glue of the body. So that's why when you're young and you're making so much of it, you look so tight and so put together because you have so much collagen in your body. Um, because it's, it's glue, it's just keeping you nice and tight. Something else that I didn't know that I was surprised um, is that there is 16 different types of uh, this protein. You know, there's 16 different types of collagen now. Um, most of it is uh, one, two, and three. Uh, and they each do something a little different. So that's also why I'm excited to finally get this. Taste or no taste, smell or no smell. It could be me because I, I don't really like meat, you know, and I was a vegetarian for a while. So it could just be me. Oh, you have meal. So uh, this one is actually pretty cool. I don't know what type this one is. But I know that this one is type 1 and type 3 collagen. So um, most of the collagen that we have is type 1, 2, and 3. And for example, uh, type 1 builds skin, bones, tendons, and ligaments. Type 2 helps to make cartilage. Uh, and type 3 helps create muscles and blood vessels. So that's good. I mean, I guess I'm, I'm happy with that, you know. Um, I do want to build better skin, obviously, and I want my bones to be healthy and my muscles and my blood vessels, you know, good for circulation. So that's good to know. And I also found out, and I'm, I put a link to a doctor that um, he has a YouTube channel and he talks more in, in depth about it. So I'd rather him explain it to you. So I put a link on the description for his video about collagen and the different types because apparently the bovine one, the one that I have, does more of one thing 
and then the chicken one uh, does more of something else and then the fish one uh, does a little bit of something else so he is better at explaining it to you than I am but I'm just gonna put the description there so that you can go ahead and find it look at it educate yourself and um, find the one that's best for you for example I can't have the fish one because I'm allergic uh, so I'm sticking with the bovine um, now there are foods that make collagen so it says um, you can help your body make more collagen by eating healthy foods to make it your body puts together amino acids called glycine and proline you find these acids in high protein foods such as chicken fish beef eggs dairies beans other nutrients like vitamin C zinc and copper also play a part you can get vitamin C in citric fruit tomatoes and leafy greens for zinc and copper try shellfish nuts whole grains and beans now um, like I said I don't eat much meat so that's probably where I've been lacking when it comes to collagen and probably why I have been feeling so good since I've been taking it because I don't eat much meat I can't eat fish which, which is rich in collagen uh, because I'm allergic to it, so I'm glad I found collagen. Um, top benefits of taking collagen can improve skin, which is why we're all on here doing this. Um, help reduce joint pain. Could prevent bone loss. We don't know, I guess. <laughs> uh, could boost muscle mass, which is great because um, I'm on a weight loss journey and Finally, I have the motivation to start working out, which I did, and I nearly killed myself because I went too hard. Because apparently now I'm like super energetic. Um, mm -mm -mm. Promotes heart health. Good. Mm -mm. Hair and nails, which is was the original point of this until I found out that all these amazing things are happening to me. Uh, gut health brain health which is something funny because my brain has been feeling so much better so on here and I'll also put in the description where I got this information from it says no studies have examined the rule of collagen supplements in brain health however some people claim they have they they may that it may improve and reduce symptoms of anxiety which is so funny because I keep telling people that I feel happier I feel better and my anxiety levels have gone down way down so there could be some truth to that but again this is just my experience my experiment what I'm feeling I don't know again it could be a placebo effect but so far this is what I'm feeling now weight loss which is something that I have been working on for over a year now I have been working on my weight loss journey with my a doctor so I do see him quite frequently and he does take blood work to make sure that everything is cool he measures me he weighs me all that good stuff so um, now it says some believe that taking collagen supplements may promote weight loss and a faster metabolism there have not been any studies to support these claims I just really hope so there's no proof um, that it helps it says that it helps with cellulite that would be great and better sleep now I have been sleeping better so that's probably why even though I keep tossing and turning because I guess the MSM uh, I do sleep a lot better and I do sleep through the night and when I wake up I feel completely refreshed so mm -mm. now collagen side effects currently there are um, not many known risks associated with taking collagen supplements however some supplements are made from common food allergies such as fish shellfish and eggs People with allergies to these foods should avoid collagen supplements made with these ingredients to prevent allergy, allergic reactions, okay? So that would be me. Mm, some people have also reported that collagen supplements leave a lingering bad taste in their mouth, especially now that I know that I haven't been taking the right collagen. Um, additional collagen supplements have the potential to cause digestive side effects such as feeling of fullness and heartburn. Uh, regardless of these supplements uh, appear to be safe for most okay so it seems to be working great for me but obviously you should really check out with your doctor and see if this is going to be good for you um, if you haven't taken real collagen man 
prepare yourself. I was not expecting that. But overall, um, I'm happy. I, I was saying this that I feel happy and apparently collagen does make you feel better, make you feel happy, um, helps you sleep through the night and um, it says that it helps with cellulite. <laughs> so let's see. Um, let me do the length check real quickly before I leave and forget. So again, same place that we've been doing. It was right below my temple, above my ear. And let's see. Oh yeah, yay. Those little ends get real curly. I don't know, but I think this is working. Okay. So I'm straightening up. And my head is straight. And there's the mark. Okay. So we shall see. I'm gonna date it. Oh, by the way, I had to put this in another container because this was already being too flimsy for it because it's almost empty. Um, so we'll see. I'm gonna put the date on here and then we'll keep going and see how much longer my hair gets. Um, so I will keep you up to date. Thank you so much for coming by. I hope I didn't speak too fast. Now, <laughs> the channel is called Ramblin' Rose. I do tend to ramble and I do talk a lot. So, but anyways, thank you so much. Um, let me know if you're trying this, um, what your experiences are. And um, yeah, make sure that whatever you do, you talk to your doctor before. Like I said, I do talk to my doctor a lot. We see each other every three months. He knows what I'm doing. So just do this, be safe. And I'm amped up to finally be at the uh, recommended dosage. So maybe we'll see my hair growing much faster. Oh, something else before I go. The hair shedding definitely keeps decreasing every single time I take a shower. So I'm going to end up with like a whole ginormous head of hair that is going to be down my back. I mean, I, I can't wait. Bueno, good night. Have a good one. Take care.